Hey, what's up everyone? I apologize for the really sloppy writing here, but I was not using a stylus. I was just kind of writing it out quickly with my finger, my index finger, but the pointing finger. Uh, it's a topic right now that's on, it's freshly on my mind, and it's alternate memories. Now, you, you're probably, you're probably thinking that was the CD drive on the computer. I was burning a CD, but that's what, I mean, that's what this whole phenomenon consists of. Now, that, that um, you're probably thinking that that's what this entire phenomenon, you know, that's what it, that's what this phenomenon com is comprised of, is alternate memories. Yeah, it is, but partially. Actually, this phenomenon goes so much deeper than just alternate memories. Um, by the way, I'm going to make a separate video about that monolith dream where I'm not going off into various topics. I had a dream as a child. I felt very strongly. I felt that there was something there that I was taken to this realm, taken to this area out of my body. There was this giant black monolith there and this black box, this huge monolith. And there was like, it was like there was a motherboard. That's what it was like, like a motherboard. And here I am going off topic from alternate memories to a, to a dream. I'm off topic of an off topic video. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, but there was an alter, there was a, there was this, it was like there was a motherboard, just computer technology there. That's what it was like, like a motherboard. And there was this virtual, I don't know, some kind of a motherboard or virtual reality, that's what it was like, and it was like on the other side was this, and they said, he's not ready, send him back or something, and I got, I got sent back to my body, and I was crying because I wanted my mama, I wanted my earth mama, I wanted my mama, and they were like, it was like beyond there, it was like, this is your mother, and it was like, no, 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 and that's what made me think of like motherboard and just this computer, that's what it was like, and it didn't, I didn't like that, and so it was like, send him back. And I was sent back to my mama. But what causes alternate memories? Back to that topic. What causes these alternate memories? There's so many different theories. Some feel we're actually shifting realities. But if you're shifting worlds or realities, now unless, unless some kind of a situation takes place where part of the old reality is left in this one, the, the other reality is left in this one, because openings are taking place, so some of that, some of... The material existence from and information from that reality is left and is put into this one, or left over, or I don't know. And in, in all of these different, I don't know how it ha how it happens. Right now, my mind's not able to explain it correctly, but maybe some of it's left over, or some is put into this existence, and it shifts all the time because of these openings of portals. But either way, I wonder what causes. Sometimes it seems like your loved ones, and this is really bothersome when you're loved ones or parents have an alternate memory than what you have. Like, they swear that something happened that you have no recollection of. You have no memory of it. And, or someone saying you made videos of something. You talked about so-and-so, right? And I'm like, no, I, I never, I don't have any memory of that. But yet they do. And, uh, especially situations where like, my parents say I made this video, and I captured this orb with a ghost inside it, and that I was, I captured this, and I was, it was so vivid that it would prove that orbs and ghosts and spirits or whatever are real. I don't have a recollection of that in my mind, of that particular picture or video that I slowed down and took the pictures of. I don't have any memory of that. But they both seem to have, my mama has a slight memory of it, like, yeah, I seem to remember that. And my daddy says, oh, I remember it 100%. They both remember it, and I don't remember it. I wish I did. And they said, well, no, it happened. It happened here. It happened. And I'm like, well, maybe it was another. No, it was. It happened here. It was you. You You took the video, but I don't have. Why don't I have any recollection of it? Something, maybe something blocked it out of my mind. I don't know. But what causes these alternate memories? And the dual memory thing, that's, 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 that's a whole other thing. The dual memories that take place. When these dual memories take place and you remember both ways suddenly, maybe it's some sort of an adapting or coping mechanism. I don't know. Maybe the mind, the the mind is trying to cope with this phenomenon when you get a dual memory. I don't know. But these alternate memories, there's something else. They're really something else. 
Now, what, on to a, a similar but different topic, what's amazing about this phenomenon is the similarities and characteristics that many of us share. Like, for example, many of you out there will deal with the paranormal or the supernatural. Many of you deal with these these shifts that take place. Many of you deal with cryptid beings, these different various beings. Many of you deal with interdimensional beings. And, I mean, there's not many, there aren't many places out there that you can find such a large group of people that experience similar circumstances and similar situations. There just isn't. There aren't that many. I mean, and the Mandela Effect community seems to be one of those places. It all started with a Mandela Effect, with the Mandela Effect, with these videos. And then all of a sudden we discover, we get the guts up to share certain things and discover we're all experiencing, or many of us are experiencing similar situations. That's just, I mean, and the fact that you all are sharing with me, it's a blessing and it's amazing at the same time, but it's like, and that 11-11 thing, that thing that happened on 11-11, of that, that seismic wave that went worldwide, and none of the scientists can explain it unless they're the ones that caused it. But maybe it was a shift situation. Maybe it was a raising of the, of the vibrational energies. And it's definitely, it was definitely something. I felt something that day. It felt like something was here. Something arrived. Something happened. That's what I felt like. And I almost fell over. It felt like a rumbling under the ground. It was like, they're here. That's what it felt like. Something's here. It's here. I felt that that day. But back to the topic of this phenomenon, so many of us experience similar situations and similar things. And it's amazing. Amazing the similarities that I can just share about anything and many of you experience it. What's amazing is the monolith dream that, dream that I had, several individuals commented to me and stated that they actually had very similar dreams recently. And it's amazing that I would happen to bring that up around the time that so many people have been talking about it. And I, did, I wasn't aware of that. I just felt compelled to suddenly make a video about that topic. And when I did, I found other people were going through the similar situations, those similar situations. Even though mine happened during my, during my childhood when I was like five, four, five, or six Anywhere between four to six years old. But back to this phenomenon, it's amazing. I'm not sure what causes it, but these alternate memories. I feel like a negative force could be involved, and it likely is involved. A dark force. And something's causing it. So many people out there, I mean, who would have thought we would be living when so many people, maybe it's the hidden knowledge that Daniel, the book of Daniel that was spoken about then, that uh, many shall roam to and fro and knowledge shall be, shall be increased. Seal these words up or shut up these words until the end, till the time of the end, when many shall roam to and fro and knowledge shall be increased in the book of Daniel. Maybe that's the, the revealing of the words, the revealing of the truth. Maybe that's the knowledge that's being revealed right now. Maybe this is the hidden knowledge that's being revealed. It was spoken of in Hopi prophecy and the uh, Blue and Red Kachina prophecy. It's spoken of in various cultures throughout this world. Speak of various prophecies, mainly in the Bible, the most accurate prophecy, depicting various things that we see happening today. But it's also an extra biblical text as well, texts that aren't in the Bible, but and also banned books from the Bible and the Book of Enoch. All of these various books and historical documents talk about in prophecy what we are going through today. In this day and in existence, in a day and time. Or at this point in existence, I should say, rather than at this day and time. But at this point in existence, the things that we're going through were prophesied. Many in the book of Matthew that Jesus Christ prophesied and Jesus told us the times, how the times would be before his coming. And just as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of... So shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man, the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And uh, we were told all of these things, foretold by many various cultures, many various prophets spoke of these times in which we live. The Bible speaks about many various things that we see happening, the earthquakes in various places, the disasters we see taking place, all of the things, the, the knowledge we see increasing, the awakening process, process that's happening. The ancients spoke about it all the time. 
you should definitely you should definitely read the blue and red kachina prophecy the hopi native american indian prophecy they have a lot of very valuable information in their culture that sadly so many discard today the knowledge of the ancients is discarded by modern society and it's sad it really is sad to see that they think their technology has all of the answers and that they don't need the ancient knowledge, the knowledge of the ancients, and they've forgotten about it, and they're going to be shocked and surprised by what by what is and by what's happening. But by then it's you know, I mean, just the book of uh the book of Ezekiel, I mean uh the book of uh Revelation and the book of Daniel. Daniel has a lot of prophecy. Uh the book of the book of Ezekiel describes Ezekiel's wheel. Look that up. Let me know what you think about Ezekiel's wheel. Sounds a lot like a UFO description, but I'm not going to get into that. But some say it's not. Some say we're wrong on that. I don't want to be a false prophet on there. But Ezekiel, the book of Daniel, the book of uh, Revelation, obviously, the book of um, Matthew. Jesus Christ speaks a lot about how it will be in the times of his coming. And, um, and yeah, could this be what we were seeing in the, the book of Daniels? The book of Daniel, shut up these words... Seal up these words until the time of the end when many shall roam to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Is this, is that what it means, These the revealing? Are we seeing the hidden knowledge and the hidden words being revealed right now in these times in which we live? Is that what these messages are and these various things that we're seeing? And also, if, I've got another video to do in a moment. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and I'll post a video about in just a few minutes about what I'm talking about right now but making it shorter but what I'm talking about I'm going to talk about the uh the prophecy revelation and the final the final end of Christ and what how it could relate to some of it uh so yeah I'm going to go ahead and end the video here just give me your thoughts on all of this alternate memories parallel universes or not parallel universe but alternate realities and shifting and changing of reality around us and how it happens why why do we have alternate memories of our loved ones and ver and the people of this world other people of this world and why does all of this happen give me your thoughts and uh, sometimes our loved ones share our memories like many times my parents share the same memories i do on some things and some they don't my mama shares the memory on some things i do and, and other things she doesn't so it depends on the memory same for the rest out there in this world so let me know Give me your thoughts. I've got another video next about prophecy. Peace. Bye.